Hey Patrick, so um, you built your own CNC machine, huh? Yes. And tell, tell why, why'd you do it? Well, you why'd know, you make your own CNC machine? Well, it's just a fun little venture, and I had a sort of uh, another hobby that I wanted to make parts for, so, you know, I thought that making a CNC machine would be fun, but it was addictive, and I, you know, got the bug of making CNC machines, and I kept designing and making more, and here I am. And so you've got the machine that can make its own replacement. Yes, I do. I have a machine that makes itself. Essentially, I have a prototype that I use myself. It's the first one that I made, and it makes the machine over and over again, so I send that out as kits. How neat. And so, so you're doing kits that people can buy your physical parts, right. then they, they can, can make their own. They can purchase the kit. They can also um, take the kit. They can create their own machines and they can give them to their friends or they can even sell it for the cost of the machine through the Creative Commons license. So it's an open source hardware project? It is. And the files are all available online? The files are, are available. Um, when you when you make the purchase of the, for the CNC machine, you get the files with them. Mm -hmm. And then you can do whatever you want with them right. pretty much? In right. Non-commercial non or does it non matter? Non-commercial. Non okay. It's for enhancing the uh, the design of the CNC machine. Me? And so you got a couple things sitting in the back of the car ready to go. So you have CNC in the trunk. <laughs> and yeah. So what do you got? Mm, sort well, of a, this yeah, is not the, exactly the way they look at it, but this is the controller. Yeah. So this controls the CNC. This is one of the uh, lead screws, uh, the couplings for lead screws, and this is the Y axis mm -hmm. right here. This is a part of another machine, and yep. it's the router. Okay. And uh, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for two years since I moved to Houston. And you've learned a few things? I have. I've learned all kinds of things, and I didn't know what I was doing when I first started. The internet is an incredible source. The making, the maker, um, the magazine, and the uh, just these shows were an incredible enriching experience with all the people around and you know, I'm hoping to get a lot out of this uh, with some of the uh, people in the show um, bringing in some content and uh, teaching me some stuff. So the website? The website is buildyourcnc.com. And then what kind of stuff is on the site? It is anything you can think of for homebrew CNC. It has all of the minutiae of CNC, that, um, the, the formulas, the um, how to build it, um, all the videos on how to build your first, first CNC, and uh, a lot of the sort of, you know, uh, specifics that will help you out in the process, and a lot about software too. All right, well, thank you so much, Patrick. It's been You're a lot welcome. of fun seeing you here at Maker Faire, and we'll, we'll do this again sometime. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>